Hello everyone, thank you for giving me a chance to introduce my work. I'm Sejin Kim and I'm in a master degree. Today I'm going to discuss on CoSchedule ML, Interference Aware Container CoScheduling Scheme using Machine Learning Application Profiles for GPU Clusters. This is a word from this is the lab of Smilomas University in Korea. GPU becomes more popular to speed up compute-intensive applications such as AI and HPC applications. For this reason, several cloud providers offer GPU services, which are called GPU as a service. As you can see a picture on the left, NVIDIA also provides GPU for HPC and deep learning workloads. So, issues related to optimization of GPU become more important than ever. Traditional cluster schedulers provide dedicated GPUs for applications. As you can see in the figure on the right, Kubernetes allows an application to monopolize GPU. However, internal GPU resources continue to increase while general purpose applications do not fully utilize the resources. To solve this problem, co-execution of multiple and diverse applications is proposed. Co-execution is that n applications are executed concurrently on a single GPU like the figure on the left. NVIDIA has proposed multiple process service MPS, to execute multiple kernels concurrently. However, performance of this technique may degrade owing to interference from resource contention. Prior works have limitations as follows. Firstly, a paper targets for VMs, so it cannot be applied to container environment. Secondly, as GPU cannot provide memory virtualization technique compared to CPU, management is necessary to avoid OEM failure. Furthermore, they experiment on only DA workloads which have uniform resource usage patterns. In this reasons, our paper introduces CoSchedule ML to improve performance and optimize resource usage for various applications. The first contribution of the paper is constructing interference model with ML. It predicts the degree of interference from accumulated profiling. The second contribution is that an architecture co-executing applications is proposed. Thirdly, uh, we propose interference-aware scheduler and integrate it with Kubernetes framework. And the last contribution is that co-schedule ML's performance is compared to the state-of-the-art schedulers. Before I explain a proposed method, I'd like to introduce motivation. The figure shows the resource usage patterns of HPC application, LAMP, QMSpec, and DL applications, Amnis, AlexNet, and VZ11. In the bar graph, the dark color represents the max memory usage, and the light color shows the average usage. The orange dot is max GPU utilization, and the yellow dot represents average GPU utilization. The graph indicates that applications on GPU tend to overcommit resource usage. The difference between average and maximum is about 54% in the aspect of GPU memory usage and 51% for GPU utilization. In addition, as HPC applications have dynamic resource usage patterns, they have a large deviation from the mean value compared to the DA applications. If we allocate the average memory usage, there may be an OM failure. Uh, in terms of utilization, performance degradation may occur. If we allocate max resource usage for this reason, resources can be wasted as applications do not always use max values. Let's compare an interference-aware policy with existing cluster concurrent execution policies. For the existing policies, beam packing policy scheduling based on max memory tries to minimize running nodes. Load balancing policy is a method to avoid interference in a naive manner. It collocates an application with max average utilization and an application with mean average utilization. 
Lastly, interference aware policy selects a pair with the minimum interference value and then executes them concurrently. At this point, we define interference value as coexecute time of an application normalized by solar run time. If you schedule according to each policy, it will be scheduled as shown in the following figure. Make span the overall workload execution time and the average job completion time according to each policy is as figure on the right. Beam packing method recognizes only the max memory, does not use all of the available resources. Furthermore, it does not reflect interference that may be appeared among applications, thereby leading to performance degradation. Load balancing method reduces interference naively by balancing loads among nodes with the average utilization, so it shows better performance compared to the beam packing method. However, there still has limitation in improvement to be achieved. Interference aware policy, on the other hand, minimizes inter application interference and maximizes the use of available resources. As in this motivation, we would like to refine and expand the interference aware scheduler. Now, I'm going to introduce my work. First, we construct interference model. If interference values are obtained directly after executing our application pairs, the most accurate and optimal results can be achieved. However, it is not realistic to calculate interference values with our pairs. It is because for n applications, interference values of the number of pairs in this formula should be executed. For this reason, we'd like to predict interference using offline profiling information without executing our application pairs. Profiling information have to reflect hardware characteristics which affect the quick execution of applications on a GPU. For interference modeling, we established three machine learning models like this. We used a combination of metrics for each application as an input of the model. And an output of the model is interference value calculated as I described in the previous motivation slide. As you can see in the table, the random first regression model shows the best performance in a container environment. So the random first model was used in this experiment. Now I'm going into details of our co-schedule ML architecture. The application profiler executes application alone and profiles to collect metrics. Profile repository labels profiling information with an application name and input data. And the information is stored in a time series based database InfluxDB. Model predicts interference value with ML model as I mentioned in the previous slide. Scheduler casts interference value from interference model and selects a pair with minimum value. In monitor, the progress of applications is monitored. Our co-scheduler ML scheduler operates in this way. Firstly, when users submit applications, they arrive in a queue. Co-scheduler ML scheduler intends not to waste resources from an either GPU. When no task is in a waiting queue, it executes an application exclusively. So if there are four nodes and four tasks in the queue, scheduler allocates to its task to its node. Meanwhile, when an application is in the waiting queue, the application is executed as a pair to maximize utilization of GPU resources. For avoidance of interference, scheduler chooses a pair with the minimum interference value. In the last figure, scheduler compares interference value of all pairs between waiting task and learning task in the nodes. If interference value of the second node is the smallest, the waiting task pairs with the pink task. At this time, scheduler requests interference value from profiling repository and constructed interference model. Also, it exploits monitoring and profiled information to confirm whether co-scheduling is possible. This is to prediction of O and failure. 
The scheduling algorithm is called when users submit an application or when loading application is terminated. So if an application in the third node terminates, calculate all pairs between the remaining application in the node and the application waiting in the queue. In the figure, if the yellow application represents the minimum interference value, scheduler dispatches the application to the third node. To evaluate co-schedule ML, Kubernetes-based private peer cluster is used. The cluster is comprised of one master node and three competing nodes, the GPU node. The work node as shown in the table. Workloads are consisted of 12 real-world applications like this. We set an arrival interval as 15 seconds. The table shows workloads used in the evaluation. The evaluation metrics are make span, average job completion time, and speed up. Speed up means co scheduled time normalized to the time when the application is executed alone. So if the value is close to 1, an application co executes without interference. For baseline schedulers, max memory based beanpack scheduler and interference aware schedulers such as load balance and mystic schedulers are used. The mystic scheduler calculates the similarity among the application metrics and schedules in order of low similarity. The figure on the left shows the average JCT of workloads. The average JCT of co-schedule ML was lower than that of impact load balance and Mystic by 30%, 11%, and 15%. The figure on the right shows make span. Co-schedule ML showed 26%, 18%, and 19% better make span than baseline schedulers. Especially in workloads 2, 8, and 9, co-schedule ML showed up good performance in terms of both average JCT and make span. The workloads are comprised of resource-consuming applications, which often result in interference between them. Co-schedule ML showed the greatest advantage in terms of their scheduling. Workload 4 is only composed of a DR inference task and it shows the worst performance. DR inference tasks are an application that uses fewer resources, so co execution performance is great even if we do not consider interference. From these results, we observe that workloads, including resource consuming jobs, take advantage of co schedule ML scheduling. Co-Schedule ML, Beanpack, Load Balance, Mystic demonstrate a speed of 78%, 56%, 67%, and 75% respectively compared to serial execution. Beanpack was the most effective scheduler by interference. Load Balance displayed a good speed up but does not show a sufficient performance with make span and ever JCT. Mystic does not count on the weight of each matrix because they assume that all metrics have the same weight, so there is a limitation for accurate prediction. Co-schedule ML allows each application to use complementary resources by considering interference, so it shows the best performance. The figure shows a graph representing GPU utilization based on the scheduler for each node. In the figure, the light color is close to zero utilization and dark color is close to 100% of utilization. As you can see, the color of co-schedule ML represents the most even distribution. Co-schedule ML shows higher GPU utilization than load balance and mystic by 32% and 16%. This paper constructs an ML model that predicts interference values using application profiling information. Based on this model, we propose interference-aware scheduler and its architecture. As a result, co-schedule ML reduces potential interference during co-execution of application and improves performance of workload execution. Future studies include refinement and generalization of interference-aware co-scheduling for diverse workloads. 
Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please leave in a Slack or feel free to question to my email address. Thank you.